I know he just didn't. I know he just didn't. Hi everyone, it's your girl Kiki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. If you were already here before, welcome back. And um, yeah, today I'm gonna to be telling a story. Um, I haven't told a story in so long. I said I was gonna do it like every month, however, I have been really busy and I just don't have the time. But finally, I'm gonna give you guys another story time. It's not another like dating story. This one is more of a like an, an awkward encounter that I had when I first came to Korea. So um, it all starts back when I was in America. So let's rewind. Okay, so um, I knew I was coming to Korea. So I was like, you know, I want to make some friends. So by the time I get there, I won't be lonely. My friends from university are not coming here until a couple of weeks later because they're doing a study abroad and i'm only teaching so i got there a little bit earlier so i was like i need to make some friends i am the i'm the kind of person who i need to have someone by my side i know that's weird i know it's all about being independent but i'm a twin and i just feel like because of that i feel lonely very quickly so um your dumb girl downloaded meef if you don't know about meef it's a really unique app um, you can meet lots of people on there. It's not, it's kind of like Tinder, but not. My only goal was to make a friend, you guys. But once you download that app, like so many people contact you, you get like notifications all day long. Like, just don't do it. But I didn't know it back then, so I did it anyway. And so I, I downloaded Meef, and um, I met a couple people. I met a couple of strange people, like always. But I finally met this friend, and it was a guy, and he was Korean. And um, we hit up pretty well as friends and I enjoy talking to him all the time. He's really nice, really sweet. And um, it comes to when I finally got accepted to a job in Korea and I was like, oh, you know, I was telling him I'm coming to Korea. I can't wait to meet you, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yeah, I can't wait to meet you either. And I was like, but I'm scared of being like, coming to Korea and not know what kind of job I'm getting into. I don't know any information about it. He goes, oh, don't worry, Korea's really nice, really safe, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, cool bet, you know? And um, I talked to my boss as well, like through Skype and things like that. And a couple of days later, I get a text message from my boss and she goes, um, Kiki, do you have a friend in Korea? I'm like, yeah, kinda, why? And she goes, oh, well, he contacted the school to find out the address about the school. And I'm like, he did what? Who? I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't know he was going to do that. I think he was just trying to make sure, like, what the information was, was it correct, and, like, hit that. So I'm apologizing, because, you know, I don't want to get fired from a job I didn't even get to yet. Like, what kind of crap is that? And I'm like, oh, in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, he's just trying to be a good friend. He's trying to make sure I'm safe. He's just trying to help me out. That was in the back of my head. I'm also like, well, how old? I was like 19, 20 at the time. I came to Korea very really early, like straight out of university. And so giving people the benefit of the doubt, I was like, okay. Um, and I texted him, I'm like, did you call my school? He goes, yeah. I was trying to make sure everything's okay. And I was like, oh, thanks, but everything's fine. Um, yeah. And so after that, everything was fine. He never called my school back again. Um, I did have more conversations with my new boss so I can get more information about it so I never had that problem again. I knew I wasn't getting catfish, you guys, because I did video chat to him a couple of times. I did call him, so I would practice. I mean, I didn't know Korean either, so like I was just trying to practice communicating with him because I was teaching him English at the time. And he was super sweet when I did call him, so um, I felt like we were getting closer as a friendship. Um, but yeah, it comes to, I get to Korea, and I settled down a little bit first, and I was like letting him know, yeah, I'm in Korea now. Let me get settled first, and then we can meet up. He goes, okay. I'll start planning some places we can go together, so I can show you around Korea, so your culture, so you can have a good time, be settled, and have a nice time. I'm like, oh my god, this guy is so sweet. Um, like he's going to take care of me, and I think he was older than me at the time, so like I I felt like he was like my Korean older brother. Yeah, I don't go around calling people oba because like. It was cringy, you guys don't do that. Um, anyway, so um, it comes to the, t the day where we're supposed to meet. Um, also, where I'm from, I never ridden a subway before, let alone like did taxes or anything like that. So it took me a minute to uh, find out where to go on the subway. Yeah, I ended up finally meeting him and he, I 
feel like he was antsy when I first met him. I, I mean, of course we're gonna be nervous. I was nervous when I first meet people, I'm very nervous. And so I was like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. He goes, hi, let's go ahead and get going. And I'm like, oh crap, okay, let's go. And so um, uh, let me go ahead and start off first before I, I say anything else. Koreans can eat, okay? This man planned a whole day of just eating. I could not keep up. First, he took me to this restaurant. Um, we ordered some food. He ordered everything for me, which I kind of didn't like because he didn't ask what I could eat when I couldn't eat. So I was like, okay. I was like, let me be nice. Let him order for me. Um, I don't know anything. I can't read Korean. I mean, I can read it. I don't understand it. So I was like, let me just do this. But he ordered this like white soup. I find out later is like white bean soup. I'm sorry for my Korean friends, but that was not it. Like. And not nasty, I would say it wasn't seasoned. So I was like, can I get some salt? I'm trying to eat it and I'm like, okay. I'm just eating rice at this point because I didn't like the ponchon either. Like it takes me some time to get used to the culture. Now I can eat anything and everything is fine. And like back then I wasn't pescatarian either. So like I was struggling to eat my food. He goes, oh don't, I was like, I'm full, I can't eat. I just ended up just eating rice. And he goes, no, no, you can't be full yet. Like we got other places to go. And I'm like, more? Um, okay. He takes me to a cafe and I'm like, oh, I like cafes. I don't get to go to cafes in America. We don't got that where I'm from. North Carolina got nothing. And so, um, go to a cafe and he finally asked me what I want. I'm like, okay, I will get this. He goes, okay. And by the way, you guys, he's paying for everything. So that's why I'm keeping my mouth shut. He's paying for everything and I don't have the world nothing. So I was like, let him buy it. I'm just gonna enjoy my time here. So he's like, choose what you want. So I choose something, he chooses something. We sit down, we talk. I mean, it's not awkward at this point. We've been together for like almost a couple of hours now. I still feel like, I don't know. I'm really weird when I first meet people. I'm really awkward, my bad. Anyway, um, so I'm eating my cake and it's a crepe. And I'm like, mm, it's okay. But also, mind you, I ate already. So I'm kind of full and I'm trying to eat my food, but it's good, you know? And without asking me, he goes, are you gonna eat that? He eats the rest of my cake. If you don't know black people, um, don't go touching my food without asking. I was like, I know he just didn't. I know he just didn't eat my food without asking. I cannot have a black moment and he calmed down. I was like, oh, you can have the rest of it, I guess. In my head, I'm like, I'm not gonna get deported over some cake. That's what I'm not gonna do. But yeah, I was just sitting here like, you know, I was I was full anyway. I'm over here like, okay, first, this guy already gave me get bad vibes. Like, he called my school. I'm over here, he's running me around everywhere. I don't know where I'm going, okay? Um, I already told you, I don't know how to ride a subway. And he's eating my food that, I mean, he paid for it, but that was mine. Um, and I'm over here like, okay, I'm done eating, I, I can't do this anymore. And I came in the heat, it was hot, okay? I'm like, hot, I wanna go home. I'm like, um, I'm, I enjoyed meeting you, but it's time for me to go home. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to show me the way, that'd be great. He was like, no, 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 we got other places to go. And I'm like, mm. I'm already uncomfortable and I'm full, I just wanna go home. Like, that's all he had for me to do was eat. I'm like, I wanna see some places, I wanna see some culture. Um, I felt like maybe I just didn't give him enough time to show me everything. I was already mad about the cake situation, so uh, it was it was really awkward. At that point, I just had nothing else to talk about. Um, finally, I was allowed to go home. He walked me to the subway, I got home safely, thank God. Um, back then, I didn't even know how to ride a bus. So I walked my butt home 20 minutes from the subway station back to my house, sweaty, dehydrated at this point. But yeah, did I ever text him again? No. Does he still follow me? I don't know. Does he watch my YouTube channel? I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't remember any of this encounter. Just don't, you guys, moral of the story, don't use me. There's some weird people in there. Maybe you had a great time on there. I don't know. I just. I'm overusing apps at this point. Um, you know, let me stop lying. I do. If you want to meet a friend, you guys, please just use Hello Talk. There are some nice people on there. I met many of my Korean friends on there. I know it wasn't as intense 
and enjoyable as my dating in Korea um, story times. But, you know, I hope you guys like this strange encounter story. Um, if you guys did, please leave a comment below. Give me a like. Go ahead and subscribe if not already. And I'll see you guys next time with another story time. Bye.